Hey there everybody, it's Roger Thompson out here at the Thompson & Thomas Ranch and uh, I have a couple of things to say today. Number one, if you want to buy a Titan II missile base like this one or a missile base like the Atlas or the Titan I or anything like that, you better have an awesome wife because if you don't, well, we all know that the wife has the final say and if she says no, nothing like this is going to happen. Number two, you better be willing to learn how to do new things because if you don't, this project would cost a fortune. Me and my brother, we learned how to do a lot of cool new stuff, and uh, well, it saved us a butt ton of money. Number three, learn how to work really hard because, well, these projects don't get done unless you go work really hard. So, those are the top three things if you ever want to buy a missile base and uh, get it restored. So, y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Well, today I got the uh, front door our bank vault door all painted up. Got the seal around it. So if we ever have a catastrophic flood again, all we gotta do, just point, put some uh, heavy duty duct tape along these joints right there, along the hinges and stuff where the door meets. And we'll be good to go. We won't have to worry about it too much. Looking good. This is the uh, some of the clear coat that I got today. I put a little bit on here. Got most of the paint off with the pressure washer the other day, but put that on there and it actually put a nice, you know, sealer coat on it. So, I mean, even if this stuff was a little bit loose, it's encased on there and it's not gonna come off very easy. This is what it looks like just on the bare metal, bare rusted metal. It's the of paint yeah what do you think this is it right here I was mainly working up on level one today trying to get uh, the rusted floors cleaned up a bit and there was a fair amount of rust build up on them so I got the big grinder and uh, put one of the cup um, wheel brushes on there so this is what it used to look like over here and now that's what it looks like over there. See, so now it's actually pretty smooth. Not bad. It's going back and forth using, I would get it wet with the pressure washer, use the grinder, and then come back and use the wet dry vac to dry, you know, suck up all the kind of slurry of rust and grime and dirt and water. And then I come along again with the pressure washer, run over it, and then uh, suck it back up again. So, you know, for this room, I probably got a good 80% of it done. So it's coming along well. There we go.